Did I ever tell you guys a Scientology story? I'll read the other advertising later. This is more interesting. All right. So um, this is like fucking, I don't know how many years ago. This is Bill Clinton was still in office, I think, when this happened. And um, basically, I need to take an acting class. I'm living in Los Angeles. And I needed to take an acting class, right? So, uh, you know, whatever. So somebody suggested this fucking place. And I went over there. I think it was the Beverly Hills Playhouse was the name of this fucking place. And I went over there and I show up for the acting class. And the teacher goes, this is so fucking weird. He just goes, oh, his big class was packed. And uh, he was a well-known actor too. So I was like, wow, man, this is going to be a fucking great class. And it was, it was a great class other than the fucking creepy vibe. So to start the class... The guy goes, okay, does anybody have any news they want to share with the class? Hmm. All right, so people raised their hands. And basically, it was actors talking about what they booked that week. And, um, you know, and there's a thing, I guess, you know, amongst actors as you're starting out, you get envious and you get jealous. So I guess this was a reaction to this. What this, that was this whole exercise was about. People would put their hands up. This is like, you know, fucking the mid nineties or some shit. And so I'd be like, yeah, I just booked, um, I booked a guest star on, on, uh, on friends. And, and then the whole class, like ridiculously loud and for a ridiculous amount of time would just go, whoa, whoa, like clapping and screaming like somebody just cured cancer. And then, it all died down. It's just like, what the fuck was that? And then somebody else goes, oh, yeah, hey, I just, uh, you know, I just booked a reoccurring on Union Square. Wow. It's been crazy. So then once that shit dies down, I was immediately like, hey, man, I knew L.A. was a little different, but what the fuck is this? They go, uh, hey, we got a couple of new students here auditing the class. Uh, he just moved here from New York City. Please welcome Bill Burr. And they... They, they clapped and cheered just as loud as they did for the other people that book like friends. But here's the thing. When they were cheering, no one was looking at anyone. They were just sort of st staring straight ahead, clapping and screaming as loud as you possibly could. And I remember like my face turned red. Like I got embarrassed. Like, what the fuck? And then that's when I, I um, you know, after the class... We took the first break, and the, the the actor teaching class, and the actors were great, you know, other than the weird vibe, right? So I fucking go up there, and the other guy goes, how you doing? And I looked, and I was like, yeah, doing good. Because he's a great actor, he totally read me. He goes, uh, he goes the beginning of the class was, um, was that a little bit too much? I was like, ah, yeah, it might, might have been. <laughs> so I go in the back. You know, now they're going to try to get the money out of me like every acting class does. This is nothing against Scientology. So that's when I sat down and that's when the guy was just like, you know, we're very um, self-sufficient. We have our own security. We have our own parking. Everything was their own. And that's when I said, I said, Jesus Christ, you know, I just had to break the tension. It was so fucking weird. So I just made this joke. Go, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm joining a cult. It was me and this other kid sitting there. I don't know what the fuck ever happened to him. I don't know if he's clear yet or he fucking moved back to Iowa. I have no idea what. But um, the guy made like this weird face when I said it. And um, so I left and I was like, wow, that was fucking weird. But it was still still like it was a good class, though, you know. And uh, and I really liked acting class and that type of shit. And so I was still kind of on the fence. And I ended up running into somebody uh, later on that night, I think at the Laugh Factory. And I mentioned... And the person was like, where, 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 where was the class? And I said, it was at Beverly Hills Playhouse. And he just goes, Bill, that's Scientology. Go, Get the fuck out of here. It's an acting class. They said, no, but it's, yeah, they're trying to recruit you into that religion. So I got all fucking weirded out. And, uh, you know, they just kept calling, leaving messages on my fucking answer machine. And then that's, you know, finally they called again and, 
I had been ducking them for like three days. And after three days, I was just like, you know, I thought they were watching me and shit. I got all fucking paranoid. Not saying they were, but I just got, you know, you know, I mean, I'm a fucking conspiracy theorist. Last thing I need is an actual cult fucking hounding me. That was not good for my psyche. So finally, after three days, they, they called again. And that's just, I was like, what am I, a fucking bitch? I can't just call these people up and say, go fuck yourself. So I just picked up the phone. I'm like, hello. And they're like, hey, ooh, 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 Beverly Hills Playhouse. I go, yeah, man, I'm all set. And the guy's like, oh, did we lose you? I was like, yeah, you did. All right? Don't call me anymore. And he goes, okay, fine. And then that was it. They left me alone. But that was, I think it's because it was early on. You know? So I didn't have to deal with Donald Sutherland, like, when I walked out to my car later on that night, just pointing at me, like an invasion of the body snatches. Um, you know, not to say that Scientology is any more or less fucked up than my religion, you know? I've always maintained that if the Inquisition was filmed, like, my um, my religion wouldn't exist anymore. That's what happened with the Nazis. They filmed this shit, so no one's ever going to forget it. The shit that my religion did was never filmed, so it's just, like, stick figures and drawings, and no, no one cares. You know what I mean? But to actually have the actual footage of, like, oh, yes, not only did it really happen, this is what it looked like. It's, it's a fucking wrap. I come home last night and uh, I got home late and I'm back out here in LA and uh, me and the wife watched that Scientology movie on, um, on HBO and you definitely should check it out, all right? But if you, if you don't sit down before you even watch the first second of it and say to yourself that they could literally do the exact same documentary on every fucking religion on this planet, um, then you probably shouldn't watch it because you're going to be one of those people that watches the Scientology video and be like, dude, these people are fucked. Um, it's all fucked. It's everything that they're doing was... I, I can't speak for our religion. My religion did. Times a zillion. As far as I know, Scientology... For as abusive as they're they're claiming that they've been, they never killed anybody. You know? They didn't go around fucking children. <laughs> like my fucking organization. I don't have one rock to rock. I don't have one rock to throw. But um I will tell you, man, they um it was it was just more of the same. I watched it more like not just looking at it like this is Scientology. This is what the fuck it is. I looked at it more like uh, just like human beings. And this is what happens when somebody is allowed to slide into the Jesus position. Muhammad, whatever you want to call it. When they slide in there. Who's, who's the Jewish guy? Who's the, who's their Jesus? Was it some guy named, is it, I can't, that's too hacky. I say some guy named Murray. Huh? Abraham, is that that guy? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. They all sound the same to me. There was nothing, nothing was going on, and then this guy showed up. He did a bunch of great shit, and now he's the guy. Give us your money. Ba-da-da-boo-boo-boo. Is it okay if uh, she blows me? Um, anyways, plowing ahead here, um, you should definitely, uh, highly recommend, uh, that you check that out, and, um, I don't know, I felt bad for Tom Cruise, they made him look like a sucker, you know what I mean, especially, you know, anytime, you know, you slow down the video and you put weirdo music in there, you're gonna make somebody look bad, and, um, yeah, I don't know. The fuck, I mean, when I sit there and I think of the shit that I bought into, going into a goddamn booth and telling some fucking weirdo all the bad things I did that week, what is that all about? Huh? Bless me, Father, five sins, and it's been seven days since my last fucking confession. I jerked off, I beat up my brother, I fucking stole. It's just like. And this guy's just sitting in there. What the fuck are you doing in there, you weirdo? Listening to all this shit. I got to go there and confess to you, you cunt. 
Why can't I just go right, go direct route? Why do I got to connect in fucking Dallas talking to you? Why can't I just fucking go straight there? No direct flight to God there, buddy? What are you doing in there? Hey, what's going on, on the other side of the wall there? What are you doing, you weirdo? Huh, you filming this shit in case I want to run for office someday? Or fucking call you out for banging a kid? You got all this weird footage on me? I don't know. All of it is fucking weird. I think everyone, I think everybody should just walk away from all of it. That's what I, that would be my suggestion. You don't have to, but if it works for you, fine. Um, unless you become a cunt. Oh, Jesus. But why do you try to make points? Why? They never go anywhere. Do they go anywhere? I don't think they do. I don't think.